Hello YouTube, how is everyone doing? And welcome back to my Let's Play of Tomb Raider 2. We are on level 9, the Living Quarters. So when you start this level, you're going to be in the water. And what you want to do is swim forward. And you should be looking for a lever. So, around the corner here, is a lever on the wall. Make sure you pull this because if you swim too far there's a current further up and if you get caught in the current you will not be able to get to the lever. So make sure you pull that lever first thing in this level. When you climb out there's going to be an enemy that's going to rush you here. So I'm just going to use my trusty pistols. He drops a small medipack. Uh -huh. So let's go ahead and take that. This large room with the pistons will be coming back to a couple of times because we have to change the height of the pistons a couple of times to gain access to the upper levels over there in the corner. There is a lever on the wall, that is where we are going to be going as our first port of call in this level. So make sure you run around here and drop down. At the bottom is going to be two enemies. I just got a new controller guys because my controller for my PC wasn't working properly so please do forgive me if I press a button that's wrong. So there's going to be an enemy with a shotgun here. I think one of them drops some items, yes, some automatic pistol ammunition. Okay there are some oil barrels here. Once to activate this trap, you just roll onto this tile here and then roll back and then be prepared for one more enemy to come at you. Uh, he drops nothing. A lot of the enemies in this level don't drop any items, so yeah. They're a bit uh, tight on resources in this level. At the top of this slope, you will see there is a crevice that runs along to the right. Do a running jump and grab, and shimmy all the way to the right until you're clear of the flame jets here. If you do it from any other area, you will not make the jump and you'll probably be burned alive and there's no water to put out the flames so yeah don't do that we don't want that to happen okay so once you pass this flame jet you can safely drop down and pull the switch on the wall here this will extinguish the flames and if you notice there is a lever on the wall up there, we need to flood this room to access that lever. So the room we're going to go to now, the switch here is going to change the pistons, like it has done here. Right, you can now drop down. First thing you want to do is you want to get the first secret which is just off to the right on that ledge there. Be very very careful when you come up here because there is an enemy in this corridor at the end that has a shotgun and he can get a few cheeky shots off of Lara. So you can either kill him and then get the secret 
I'll get this secret and then kill him. It really doesn't matter. He's gonna die anyway, so. The choice is yours, the player. So we've got the first secret. So now we have to dispose of that shotgun guy. Oh, did he get a shot off on me? Nah, I got lucky there. I got very lucky. So all I need to do now is just kill him. You're wasting your shells, my friend. You can't shoot through concrete steel. Okay, now he's getting shots on me. Pick up his uh -huh. ammo. Your automatic pistols. And then explore the corridor he was residing in. At the end of this corridor is some shotgun shells. Uh -huh. Pick them up. And there is a movable block here. So push this movable block. You can only push it once here. I believe behind that block there is some more shotgun ammo. push it once you can't pull it out so here okay drop down in here and you'll be with the lever that changes the height of the pistons this will set them back to their original height now what you want to do is instead of dropping down that hole you want to come back up here and get around this block for a start because we need the ammo come on where's the block where is that dang block like I can get around to it so I'm just gonna leave it it's only shotgun shells and we have plenty of shotgun shells we have you know we have we have 54 shotgun shells so it it really doesn't matter okay this time around when you come back to the piston room you want to be going for the switch off to the right here. This lever will flood the room we were in previously with the fire jets. So now I would do a running jump. You'll take
take a little bit of damage, but you'll live. This is a pretty short level once you know what you're doing. So now I would recommend going back around to the area with the fire jets. It is now flooded, as you can see. I recommend saving your game here because you're going to be doing under a lot of underwater swimming. So drop into the water when you're ready. And then interact with the underwater lever here to open the door behind us. Make sure you take out your harpoon gun for this because there's a scuba diver lurking in the next area. Yes, there he is. And he got a few shots off on me. He's done pretty much a lot of damage to me, so now we need to find an air pocket. Or we will drown. And fortunately for us, there's one here. There's nothing in here, it's just an air pocket basically. And he's done quite a number on us with our health. So once you've got a full O2 gauge, you want to swim through this opening here. At the end, you will find a lever. Now, everybody hates this part of the game for one particular reason. Swim to your left here, and yes, that is a giant moray eel. And if he scared you the first time when you played this game, don't worry. He scared the bejesus out of me too. Horrible, horrible jump scare. The developers were really cruel putting that in. <laughs> but yeah, when you swim back he has a much, much bigger range. So as long as you stick to that wall on the right and stick to it as much as you can, he can't reach you. But if he does manage to bite you, he does take off a considerable amount of your health. So just avoid him like the plague. Because you can't kill him, but he can kill you. So yeah, that's fair, isn't it? Just avoid him, is all I can say. Right, so... Climb up here. And there'll be a, a enemy with a shotgun in here. So make sure you're on your guard. There he is. Now you can either do this the easy way, the hard way, pulling all the levers, but he drops nothing, unfortunately for us. There is a shortcut, I believe, you can take. It might be on the other side, though. Because I did see a video on this, and it's a shortcut, so you don't have to really mess with all them switches. And the shortcut is just here. Pretty neat shortcut. You just run and jump over here. Have your weapons drawn because there's another enemy lurking. He drops nothing, unfortunately, because he's a cheapskate. And we're going to do the same thing we did in the previous video and that is walk to the edge here and just press the roll button and you'll land 
over the broken glass and you'll get to pick up the game's second secret for this level. However, on the way back you are forced to take damage from the jump up here. There's really not a lot you can do about that, sadly. In this next area, you're going to find your third and final secret, which is the Jade Dragon, just outside in the water there. Slide down this slope. It's actually pretty easy to get. There are no sharks guarding it, but there are a couple of barracudas that you have to deal with. So, I just use the pistols. There's a barracuda in the water here already. So, make sure you take care of him first. Then stand on the crumbling tile. And wait for the barracuda to come to you. And there you go. Two barracudas. Swim down and collect the Jade Dragon. The Jade Dragon actually gives you a ton of M16 clips. So if you like the M16, you're in for a treat. You get a lot of ammo with this pickup. Okay, swim back into the cave opening here. into the water and then climb up the other side here. The slope on the left side here, jump here. There's no glass here or anything but it does lower you so that it's harder for you to get out or it's really not that difficult to get out, just jump and then do a side jump onto the slope here and jump forward and grab. <clears throat> Climb up here and then do a running jump and head through the opening behind the pillar. And this next room is a shotgun enemy that will be coming down the stairs. Now if you're quick, you can kill him without him noticing you. Well he did notice me but he didn't get any shots off on me so that's a bonus. Up the stairs he came down from, there's a couple more enemies in this room. good for my health. Push the movable block here. Head down to where you killed the enemies and around the corner will be a couple more enemies. And there's also a guy with a button. Yeah, they drop absolutely nothing, unfortunately. Drop down to the lower part here, and there's a movable block here. Pull out this movable block and get behind it, and you'll find a key behind this crate. There's the key, and this is the key to the theatre. And now you just climb back up. There might be another enemy that you need to take care of. Sometimes there is another enemy hiding, but... I 
can hear you. There you are. Okay, now you need to pull this block back out. Twice. Because behind this crate is the entrance way to the theatre. So I'll just jump over here and then head to where the crate was and you'll find there's an opening behind it. Make sure you take care of this guy. Good grief, they are really stingy with the items in this level. Okay, now use the theatre key on the lock here to open these double doors. And get ready for another battle with some more enemies. There's one on the flooring here. And there's one up here, it's a shotgun enemy, just waiting for us. This guy thinks he's so cool, this shotgun, he's like, oh, look at me. Not cool anymore. You're dead cool, my friend. Dead cool. Oh, look at this, he's planking, guys. Look at this, he's planking. Working on those app muscles. Well, I guess it's not, his abs are not the only thing that are going to be stiff now, because he's dead. Anyway. Pull this small lever on the wall and that will pull back the curtain allowing us to go backstage at the theatre. I can hear someone moving around, but I don't see them. I think it is behind the stage. The heck? you doing oh you're trying to attack me through the curtain ah I'm sorry pal but that doesn't work I thought he was throwing up behind the stage or something sounded like he was throwing up behind the stage well this uh, movable block There's nothing behind it that I know of. And then climb up here and then slowly lower yourself down because in this area you got to be careful because part of the flooring has got glass shards. So there's an opening here so be very careful you don't fall in here. And press this button here and that fills the previous section up with water. So now that is where we're going to go to. And then we've pretty much done living quarters, the whole level guys.
Okay, take the shotgun shells off this enemy. And that's pretty much it. That's the living quarters finished, guys. Pretty easy, pretty short level. Drop into the water and climb out the other side. And that's the end of the level. Okay, that was the living quarters, 25 minutes, 29 seconds. All three secrets, 21 kills, no medipacks used. So I'll see you guys in the next level, which is the deck. And this is the final level of the underwater levels in Tomb Raider 2. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, please, if you would like to do so. And see you guys in the next one. Take it easy, be safe, bye for now.